I've come to know that if you unclog yourself, that arteries, you know how arteries get clogged with cholesterol? Well, I think of the soul like that. It has, it's clogging. There's three things that clog it up. One is negativity. It clogs you, just like cholesterol will clog your arteries. And when you don't have negativity, that is when you're letting people row their own boat, then you begin to see life completely different than you've ever seen it before. You're not looking for anything to be down. You're not finding fault with other people. Negativity and judgment. These are the two biggies. Judgment. Hear this. Hear this sentence. When you judge another, you do not define them. They are already defined. You define yourself. What else could you be doing? The judgment's coming out of you. It's yours. You're the one who owns it. So every time you judge another human being, find fault with them, find something that you don't like, put them down, whatever, you are not defining them, even though you may think you are, because you're stuck back here in form. When you're transformed, that is when you go beyond form, you see that you've just defined yourself. So now what you do is you practice non-judgmental behavior towards everyone and everything. And you honor the God in all life. You celebrate it. The fat, the skinny, the tall, the short, the dark, the light. Those who choose to believe one way and those who choose to believe another. The minute that you put them down or anyone does, and then as you become more and more and more enlightened, you know what happens? You see how other people do it and how it's impossible for you to do it anymore. I never look at anything that comes into my life anymore as anything other than just what's supposed to be there. I don't judge it. I don't analyze it. I don't get mad at it. I'm not negative toward it. I just accept it. When you walk through that gate, you never go back again. You never go back to judgment again. I mean, judgment... Can you imagine anything more stupid? Imagine going up to a tree and saying, look, you got moss all over you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're disgusted. Why don't you take care of yourself? All you have to do is treat each other like that. All we have to do is treat each other like you have a right to be who you are and what you are. And wherever you are in your path is exactly where you're supposed to be. All of us. And it's like getting that dualism out of us and understanding that everything in the world is perfect, including your desire to improve it. And that's the paradox. Even the starving people, even the AIDS, even the diseases that are out there, all of that is part of the perfection of it all. Judging it doesn't do any good. Suffering is a part of it, and our desire to end suffering is also a part of it. And you don't have to fight it. You don't have to be in dualism with it. Because in this place where there are no boundaries, where there are no limits, there are none of those things that I just described. And when you have that, that's all you have to give away. And when that's what you give away, that's how you react to everything and everyone. And so you run into people. I don't run into the rude people anymore. They're not in my life anymore. I never see them anymore. I want to try a great exercise. Just try this. The next time you're in an airport and you've got a delay or a bus station or, or wherever you are, just go to a, a 747 that is unloading, that's full. And everybody that comes off of the plane, try to find something nice about them. No matter who. No matter what they are, no matter how, how ugly you think they are, no matter how smelly you think they might be, no matter that they're so different from you, don't have that in you. It's like everybody that comes, ah, oh, that's, oh, what a great smile. Oh, look at that lovely person over there. Look at, isn't that a lovely grandmother over there? And not, oh, she's old. Ugh, I don't like those young kids. Ugh, I don't like the way they wear their hair. That's all judgment. All the judgment that you have in your life is clogging you. Judgment, negativity, and imbalance are the things that will clog you. And until you get rid of them, you will never know this level, this level, pure thought. It's a wonderful exercise.